Welcome back, boys and girls, to another less than exciting episode. Let's pray together. Dear Lord God, I thank you that you not only have all wisdom, but that you also share your wisdom with us. And I pray, Lord, that you'll help us to be all ears and to listen to you right now as you share your wisdom with us through the book of Proverbs. In Jesus' name, amen. Go ahead and dust off the Bible and turn to Proverbs chapter 19. Verse 27, Proverbs 19, 27 says, Cease to hear instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. Cease here means stop. Stop listening to instruction. What will happen if you stop listening to instruction? Well, you will stray from the words of knowledge. What happened if my old car is driving up a hill at 55 miles an hour and I take my foot off the gas pedal? It stops after a while. What happens if you're playing a video game, a racing game, and you're driving and you're taking a ramp and you're going and you go off the ramp? Well, since the car is it stopped driving up the ramp, it starts making an arc, arch, like this, you go, so if we stop listening to God's words of instruction, the Bible, the word of God, then we're going, we're going, we're going, and then we stop, like my car, or we, like the car in the video game, we go, So we need to keep on listening to God's words of instruction. We should not stop, not cease to listen to God's words of instruction so that, well, we can learn his wisdom. We may learn the words of knowledge, not just book knowledge, any book knowledge, but the good book knowledge, the knowledge of God. So, that's the message. Don't stop reading the Word of God. Don't stop believing in Jesus Christ. Don't stop reading the Word of God. Don't stop listening to God's instruction. If you do stop, you'll lose momentum, slow down, and stop and fall. So, if you want a plant to grow, you have to give it the right amount of sunlight, water, and air. Alright? The same way, if you want your spiritual life to grow, if you want to grow closer to God, you need to add a healthy daily dosing of the Word of God to help to keep you grow. So, don't stop listening to God's words of instruction. And how do we not stop listening to God's words of instruction you dust off that Bible you open it up and seeing as how you learn to read in school in kindergarten or first grade or second grade hopefully then you can read the Word of God spend time with God spend time in God's Word don't stop listening to God some kids grow up they go to college and then all their young lives they were fed the Word of God by their parents or Sunday school teachers or whoever, and then when they leave the house, they stop listening to God's Word. They cease listening to instruction of the Word of God. So what happens? Their spiritual life sort of withers and dies, like a plant in the scorching hot sun without any water or nutrients. So don't stop listening to instruction. Learn to feed yourself by reading the Bible every day. I don't just say it because it's fun to say, and it is fun to say, but I say it because it's vital to your spiritual survival to keep on reading the Bible every day. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you that you've given us the Bible. Help us to not stop reading it and listening to it and being fed the Word of God so that we can grow in our spiritual lives, grow closer to you. Help us to grow, Lord and to do what pleases you, to listen to words of knowledge and wisdom, words of the wisdom of God and the knowledge of God. 
and bless these dear children, I pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.